have been trying to <laughs> just. social media is going to hurt your brain. Well, I chose this topic because as teenagers, all we hear is our parents talk negative about, tech, about social media, and they're not talking about the positive sides of it. So today, I'll be talking... No, let's just restart. Let's just restart. Okay. That's fine. Even the president is still looking at his speech today. Yeah. Remember that you said Hi, my name is Taylor Lord, and today I will be giving a perspective speech on social media. How many times have you heard your parents talk negative about social media? But what if I told you that social media can have a positive side to it? I chose this topic because as teenagers, all we hear is our parents talk bad about social media, and sometimes we need to know the good sides about it and what we should or should not do on it. I chose this because we need to understand multiple outcomes on social media and what's the right and wrong thing to do. My three points that I'll be talking about today will be social media and how it can cause mental and health issues. The second will be how social media can be an informative platform. And the third will be how social media can help young adults express themselves. I chose to start off this speech with the negative thing, with the negative side, so we can just get that out the way. The honest truth, yes, social media can be a bad thing. It can start trends with negative topics and it can influence some people, but as young adults and as adults, we need to learn how to not expose the future generations to that mess, I'll say, so when they grow up, they don't see the bad sides of social media. With social media, it can be really informative. Nowadays, you see kids my age and young adults you see them getting more involved in the world. They're learning more and they're understanding the world we're being bought in. You get, when you go on social media and certain websites and apps, you're learning more political, you're learning more about the political side to where you're living in, and you're learning more about the good and bad things that's going on around your environment and community. Also on social media, there's teachers on there, there's apps that help you with your homework. And with social media, Kids can connect with one another and they can help each other with their work, they can meet new people, and it's helping them learn new ways to do things. With social media, it is really a way to express yourself because nowadays we're using emojis, we're using photos and videos, and we're expressing ourselves. Some people say that it's called self-expression. They're showing their emotion to the world. Like I said earlier, they're meeting new people that they probably would have never met through social media. They're meeting their best friends. They're meeting people that they can one day connect with in real life and have a life with. Social media, yes, it does have its bad ways, but as adults and young adults and as kids, we need to know the right and wrong day the right and wrong way to do something. If we see something negative on social media, we need to tell someone and we need to let them know that, hey, don't get involved with that. Just leave that alone. With social media, it can be a positive thing. And if we talk about the positive things, people will be more free to get on it. And it won't be so much bullying on it or talking about someone on it. It can be more of lifting someone up and, hey, you're having a bad day, but you go on social media and someone just called you pretty and that just made your day. Social media can be a really good thing and I feel that if people just understand social media a little bit more and the, I say the more technical stuff behind it, they can realize that this could really help us in the future. So I want to leave you off with today with saying, how do you interact with social media? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Do you encounter problems and negative things on technology or do you encounter positive and uplifting words on social media? So today I just want you to go out and just think, how can I make social media a better thing? How can I help someone on there? How can I meet someone new? What can I do to change the way that other people look at social media? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.